early signs of Alzheimer's and dementia? Well, according to the Alzheimer's Association, which is www.alz.org, there are 10 signs of early signs of developing Alzheimer's or dementia. To me and to other researchers, these 10 early signs are almost not early enough to be able to offset the possibility of de developing Alzheimer's or dementia. Just like any other disease, just like cancer or whatever, the earlier you detect the problem, the better chance it is of either solving the problem before it gets to be a problem or avoiding the problem altogether. Now researchers have discovered that there are three and probably more but three that I'm aware of signs that can actually give you a clue as to whether you're going to develop Alzheimer's or not and these signs can actually occur 20 years before these 10 early signs according to the ALZ.org the three signs are actually something you would not expect. The first sign is constipation. Yes, constipation. The second sign is loss of smell. And the third sign is bad posture. Let's go th through each one. Constipation. Now, I'm talking about the constipation that is not solved by the traditional remedies that we see in society, like um, the constipation medicine you buy over the counter, or the natural forms of constipation relief, or eating a lot more roughage and stuff like that. It just doesn't seem to work. That's the kind of constipation I'm talking about. And that usually comes, believe it or not, from your brain. Again, Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinsonism and all those come from the brain and these are signs that maybe there's something going wrong with the brain. The other is loss of smell. Loss of smell is a brain activity or smell is a brain activity. You smell with your brain, okay, directly with your brain. If you lose the ability to smell, what does that say? It says that there's something going on in your brain that's preventing you from smelling an early sign. The other, let's talk about posture. Posture is extremely important for the health of your brain. Why? Because posture is regulated by your brain. If you looked at my other videos, you know that. Okay? So posture, if your posture is bad, your shoulders are rounded, your head's drooping, or your arms are turned out, or if you walk like Bigfoot, there's something wrong with your posture and that's something that needs to be addressed it's a sign of a bad brain bad posture equals bad brain these three things can be there 20 years before developing the 10 early signs and those 10 early signs can be several years before developing full-blown dementia Alzheimer's or what have you so what can you do to help this well, first off, you understand that if you discover something early and you see the problem, you might be able to deal with it. There are three things. We know, researchers and all know, that there are three things that our brain needs, the cells of our brain needs. The first thing is activation. And I talked about activation. Those three things you can do early on in your life and do for your kids that will help your brain. And we know it's high-intensity exercise, learning a new language, and learning to play an instrument. Those are three things that you can activate your brain with. Okay? Activation is important, number one. Number two is fuel, and that fuel is divided into two parts. One is oxygen, and the other is what we call glucose. Glucose is your body's energy currency. It's what your cells of your body use to make them work, is glucose. Okay? Now, glucose comes from the food we eat, obviously. And what happens is that our brain needs a very steady, even uh, level of glucose to be delivered to it. If it's too much, there's a problem. If it's too little, there's a problem. Because what happens is when there's too little glucose or too much glucose, it interferes with a lot of the 
mechanisms that make our cells work. It blocks some real important protein from getting into the, into the cell, and it blocks the problem with eliminating a lot of the waste that your cell produces. And this is important about the brain. Very important about the brain is that the brain, the cells in the brain, they produce waste just like any other cell in our body. And that waste needs to be eliminated. Now what happens is that what they've discovered is that Alzheimer's, dementia, these brain diseases are a protein aggregate problem. And I talked about this a little bit in my other videos. And what that means is that when your cells work, they produce waste. And that waste is proteins that are not utilized by your brain anymore or your cells anymore. Those proteins are released in your brain. Okay, It's released in the tissues of your brain. And there's something called autophagy. I know, silly name that actually takes this waste out of your brain through the blood-brain barrier into your waste system and then eliminate it. What happens when there's too much glucose or too little or too much oxygen or too little? What happens is it interferes with that autophagy. So the waste is not gotten rid of and it just sort of sits there. Okay. It sits there and interferes with the connections in our brain, right? The connections, remember I talked about the connections are very important. It allows us to do things, it allows us to learn things, it allows us to be efficient. It becomes less efficient when this waste is sort of interfering with these connections. Thus, what do you have? You have a brain that's not working as well as it could, so you have a loss of smell. A brain that's not working as well as it should, you have decreased what we call motility, decreased action in your gut, so you become constipated. A brain that doesn't work very well because of the connections and you have a lack of an ability to fight gravity because that's what posture is. That's what your brain does. It fights gravity. So if your brain is not efficient, working efficiently, it doesn't fight gravity efficiently and you start to sag. Okay, so look here next time. I'm going to talk about next the fuel part, which is as important as the activity part or activation part. Remember, to live longer, you need to eat better and be 